In our last tutorial, we placed multiple images at a time by uh, going to the place command, loading the placement gun up with multiple images, dragging them out, and while we're still dragging, we actually use the up and down arrow keys to build the frames on the fly. Now, I'm going to continue on this kind of the same vein, and I'm going to show you uh, a little bit about object styles and also using some tools up in the control panel, maybe for a little bit quicker uh, implementation. Just for fun, once you've got uh, something like this done where I have an image that's actually inside this frame and if I right mouse click and go over here to fitting and come up into frame fitting options, it's fitting the contents proportionally within that frame. It's centered and I have a negative crop which is actually bringing the graphic away from the edges uh, about 0 0.0625 inches. So let's say we want to keep that. We want to reuse those parameters. It's really relatively easy. We're going to go under the window menu to styles and we're going to come over to object styles. Now object styles have been around for a while and um, we should use them probably more than what we do. So with one of those graphics selected I'm going to come up to the pop out menu and I'm going to say I want a new object style. And let's give this uh, a name like um, center fit, excuse me, center fill proportionally. And um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to come over here on the left and make sure you turn on frame fitting options because normally that's not on, it's ignored. So I'm going to keep my fill color, keep my stroke. Um, keep my frame fitting options and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give this a, a keyboard command we'll say of um, command or control numeric keypad 2 and I'll go ahead and I'm going to click OK. Now I can reuse this command. So let's say that I um, draw in some new frames. Let me select a bunch of these frames and I'm just going to delete them from here and I'm going to draw out a frame I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm just going to go ahead and make a frame about this size. And I'll go ahead and I'll put a picture in it right away. Let's go File Place. And I'll just pick one of my little um, Microsoft graphics here. And now with that selected, I'll take my selection tool and I'll come over here Center Fill Pro. So automatically on the fly, it centered it, pulled it away from the edges, filled the frame proportionally, filled with that color and uh, stroked it and gave it the drop shadow. Um, maybe we want to push this a little bit further. In InDesign CS5 they introduced these new uh, corner editing abilities by clicking on the corner here. I'll pull the diamond in and that's just going to round all the corners off. If I hover over the diamond you can actually see a tool tip that if you um, alt click you can change the different shapes and if you shift drag on the diamonds you can do one corner at a time. Let me review that with you. So I'm going to alter option click and you can see it's changing or walking through the different corner shapes back to square. I'm going to bring this in I'll have a rounded corner here. One thing I like to do is I'll hold down the um, shift key I'm going to go to the upper right and I'll drag this one back so it's squared off and I'll do the opposite corner and I'll square that off and I kinda like the way that looks I like that little more fancy look but the thing of it is now that's not in my object style because I added those options if you look over here in the object styles panel you can see a plus symbol here meaning that it's actually has some changes in addition to the style that I applied what I'd like to do is have the style be redefined to take on these new items. So this is really easy. I'm just going to right mouse click here and I'm going to pick redefine the style based upon this new look. So now I'm going to go up and we'll say we'll pick these pictures. I'll apply my center fill pro to them and now they all take on those same attributes. A couple more things I want to show you. Let's go ahead and draw out another frame and use some of the tools in the control panel. So I'll just draw this out 
and my smart guides are kicking in telling me I have one the same size and what I'm going to do here is I'll put another graphic here file place just pick another random one and I'm going to take this and just as a reminder if I didn't have a style I could go up to the control panel and use the fitting options up here here's fill frame proportionally well it does but it, it clips either the top or the bottom or maybe one of the sides depending on the proportionality of the graphic to the frame I have a rectangular graphic I have a square frame so it crops it or clips it uh, let's go over here and pick fit content proportionally well that looks really good uh, let's come over here and see what else we have fit the content to frame well that kinda stretches I don't want it distorted so let me undo that control or command Z but I do want to center it so I'll go ahead and pick that center command one thing I can't do up in this area on the control panel is I can't crop or I can't add any of that white space so that's something I'd still have to do uh, back in my frame fitting options menu or dialog window also remember we have the options up in here to change our uh, corners and we can change the amounts and so on those can be done up here um, and again I'm just gonna click on my center fill pro object style so it does it in one click one thing I will show you is kind of a slick trick up here is if you turn on auto fit just like the tooltip says makes the content resize as the frame is resized so that basically means I can come over with my selection tool come over to a corner handle and I'm gonna hold the shift key so it maintains proportionality but I don't have to hold down the control or command key I'd normally have to hold that down so it would affect the contents also so this is a slick item that you can turn on if you need to resize a bunch of pictures in their frames simultaneously it's called the auto fit command and that's another item that can be added to my uh, center fill proportional object style again remember when we add a feature we can go ahead and right mouse click we can redefine it based upon that new feature and now if I come over and click on any of these items hold the shift key down because that style's been reapplied with the auto fit command it works very very well so I just wanted to add those two or three items to you about doing using object styles using the control panel to use your some of the fitting options that are up there and also some of the options to control the corners